Yes, and we are live. Welcome everyone. This is Kelly and I am here with Jenny. Jenny is a beautiful happiness work-life balance coach. Is that right, Jenny? Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah, and um, Jenny's been working with me for quite, well, off and on for quite a while now. And so she kindly agreed to come and talk a bit about her experience. Hi, Jenny. Hello, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to, to speak to you. So, I mean, I guess we're focusing on all the work we've done around feminine energy and you stepping into that. So can you think back to when you decided this is what I need to work on? What was going on for you? Um, I think for me, I kind of, I'd spent 20 years in corporate and I've been sort of drive, drive, drive and, and pushing for success. And they just got to a point where that kind of masculine energy just wasn't serving me anymore. Um, and I, I'd kind of um, dabbled in feminine energy and started to do some learning around it um, actually as part of my coach training. Um, but actually talking to you and the work that you were offering really felt that it would take it sort of another step and actually really um, help me to embody it. So yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking. Oh, beautiful. And so like, if you think about how you were at the beginning when we started and how you are at the end and actually probably continue to be with the tools, like what's that journey been like? What have been the key kind of milestones? Um, I think a couple of things for me. One is um, that real connection to myself that's really kind of deepened um, and that real sort of stopping to listen um, and really listening in um, to kind of it, it just helps you stop looking externally for all of that validation and actually kind of check in with yourself and what do you what do you sort of really want so I've really kind of um felt the difference in that I've kind of built that into um I already had kind of a really regular meditation practice but I've now kind of built in sort of my energy my feminine energy practices kind of weekly so that I can really connect and when I'm looking to kind of do something new or make a decision um I know I can sort of tap in um and really sort of feel that and, and it really helps to sort of guide me um, in that space yeah that's so important isn't it once you have that it stops all that self-doubt and that that questioning about what to do yeah definitely oh well that's wonderful and obviously you've something's changed in your life do you want to yeah. share a bit more but I mean I know it's not just about this but it'd be interesting <laughs> to hear from you what um impact you think the work we did had on your decision yeah absolutely and it's quite interesting so um you mentioned at the start we've, we've worked together on off and on a few times over the years and I think we first worked together in coaching relationship probably about three years ago um and I started to kind of identify that actually much as I had adored my corporate career I wanted to do something a bit different and that seed was sort of planted um then and I guess it's kind of been bubbling away for quite you know the last couple of years so I, I qualified as a life coach which was brilliant um but I just couldn't quite make that leap and sort of say you know actually I'm going to be a coach full-time and really sort of follow my dream and I think you know doing the circle with you and then following on and doing the one-to-one -one work really empowered me to do that so I'm, I'm, I'm sat here today I'm sort of working full-time in my business I left my corporate um, role really recently um, and I'm working full-time on building up my coaching and it's it's really exciting and, and really empowering and I think I trust in myself and my judgment to do this so much because of the work that we did that I absolutely know that I'm on the right path so yeah it definitely helped me to be brave I've definitely found my voice and my sort of conviction to follow my dreams Oh, that's so lovely. And when you're saying that, I'm just really seeing this kind of queen, you know, being the ruler of your domain, knowing what you want, going for it, but not going for it in that masculine way, in a really soft way, in a, in a holy kind of yes to yourself way. Absolutely. And I, and I do think of that a lot. So we talked a lot, didn't we, about sort of being the queen of your domain and moving from kind of, you know, there've been points in time where I was just letting people walk all over me or not kind of voicing what I really wanted um so I do often think oh what would a queen do in this situation <laughs> that's really helped me in that kind of you know vision of who I want to be and, and you know the role that I'm stepping into so um yeah and to your point around the sort of doing bit it's so interesting so you know I'm I've always been incredibly driven as uh, you know and 
part of that is what has made me so successful but it was feeling painful and it's quite interesting now when I can feel my masculine kicking in which it does sometimes it hurts <laughs> and I can go ah oh, hang on um, and that's a little reminder to me to be back into my feminine and actually you know take that inspired action that feels good rather than kind of pushing myself to do something that actually doesn't feel right um, and that's quite brave I think having to tune into that and go mm, do you know what I really don't feel that that's the right thing for me to do right now so I'm just going to sit with it rather than but I might miss out if I don't do that <laughs> wow yeah and that means you're in that flow you're in that feminine flow of receiving and you we were just talking a bit beforehand and you were telling me a bit about your day now I'd love to share for you to share just anything because I think that's a real example of how you take care of yourself and your feminine actually yeah sure so my dream of course you know was to work for myself and um and actually how that would feel so it's things like when I was in corporate I would be up so early in the morning I'd be sat at my desk at 7 a.m um just to kind of get you know everything done um so now I work for myself so I make sure I take time for self-care in the morning do some yoga go for a walk even though it's very cold here at the moment um before I sit down at my desk and actually um therefore I feel really ready for my day and really kind of engage in what what's you know what's on my list and things like that so it just feels much more natural um and I think I was quite conditioned to work incredibly long hours but actually I've had to I've kind of gone no when when my energy for the day is done I've done brilliant things I'm actually gonna sit back and just relax <laughs> yeah. oh I love it I just love it so I remember sometimes you um you would say can I just do nothing you know is that okay <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. And um, my partner used to say we'd be on holiday. It feels like a lifetime ago. Um, and I would literally be like, it's okay that I'm sat here doing nothing, isn't it? <laughs> like I literally needed permission. <laughs> <laughs> Just shows you that, you know, that hard work effort that yeah. comes from childhood and from corporate, it just gets driven into us that we can't stop moving, you know, and even a lot of entrepreneurs have that as well. Actually, sometimes entrepreneurs say they work more hours than when they did in the corporate and it's because they're missing this feminine energy element, I think. I, I think that makes total sense. And I, I've been on a bit of a journey with that because I was almost doubting myself a little bit at the beginning of my sort of, you know, entrepreneurial journey. And having to tap back into the work that we did to say, it's okay that you're not sat at your desk for 12 hours. Are you doing things that are turning the dial for your business? Yes, that's fine if it takes five hours or five minutes more than that. But you know what I mean? It's, it's but it is unlearning that conditioning. And, and I, you know, I don't think I've been any less effective or, you know, any less productive um, because I've been able to really tune into kind of what's the right thing for me in that moment. It's just going to create such a beautiful business that you love because some people create businesses that they hate because they become monsters in their own right. And so I think it's about, yeah, creating a sustainable, satisfying business. I'm really excited to see, you know, what comes and, and Jenny works with people that are you know, in that work, like work, busy, busy life and helping them find balance. So if that's any of you, then reach out to Jenny. I'll put her details below. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm currently offering um, free coffee chats as well. So if you want to kind of um, spend a bit of time chatting something through with me, please feel free to reach out. Lovely. Well, it's so nice to have you. Thanks so much for joining, Jenny. So I'm hopefully going to see you in Ibiza in a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say before you go? No, just to say, you know, I, you know, I absolutely love working with you, Kelly. And I think if anyone's sort of thinking about it and not sure, I think what you are amazing at is totally embodying the work that you do, but you also get the reality of life as well. And I love that about you. And that's why I've always sort of really enjoyed working with you. So yeah, I would say to anyone, um, this is great work to do. And Kelly's a brilliant mentor to do it with. Oh, thanks so much, Jenny. Thanks. Thanks everyone for watching and get in touch if you're interested in the circle or anything else um, all the details will be below lots of love thanks bye